This is Andrew Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm like joined by Lucian Reid. Lucian, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's good to hear you're doing well yourself. Going in there on Saturday night with Brad Foster for that British and Commonwealth talk, well, British and Commonwealth titles. I know for a while you've said you've wanted to fight for at least one of those, and now you've got the chance to fight for both of them. How excited are you to get that opportunity finally? Couldn't be more excited. Um, I've, I've had visions of me on on a Sunday after winning the belts, going and picking up my son, taking him to um, Wagamama, which is his favourite mill, and with the belts, let him hold the belt. So that's that's my motivation for this fight: smashing it winning the belts, give them to my son and then move on. Now Brad Foster obviously doesn't have that amateur background that you have. He has a kickboxing background. How much of a difference do you feel that he's going to play out for him, for yourself on Friday, uh, Saturday night? All right, so I think he's adapted very well to boxing. Um, he's, done, he's, he's done very, very well considering he's from a big uh, kickboxing background. But like it's like me going into um, kickboxing. I'll only use my fist. You know what I mean? Funny. Once his legs get a bit tired, everything's going to start changing. His stance going to change. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick him off. So I'm looking forward to the later rounds. I'm not uh, listen. I've not trained for any quick stoppage. I've made sure I've, I can smash out 15 rounds if I wanted to. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grow off my arse off in that ring and get the win. So how do you see the fight playing out between yourselves and your styles kind of clashing or jelly? It depends what he comes out because he, he does try box sometimes and he does try fight. I, mean, I don't think he'll try fight me because if he does, he knows he's going to get picked off, and I don't think he'll try box me because if he does, he knows he's going to get picked off. So it's going to be interesting. It will be interesting. It was brought up in the press conference that Brad shared the ring with Andrew Selby in sparring. Can you read anything into that? Obviously, Andrew Selby is. He's widely regarded as one of the UK's most talented fighters, even after his sole defeat on his record. Can you read anything into that sparring? Bro? Andrew Selby's a flyweight. I'm not a flyweight, I'm a super bantamweight, I'm a big super bantamweight. Don't get me wrong, he's, he's an unbelievable fighter, Selby, but he, is, he, ain't, he, ain't sm he ain't small as in height, but weight-wise, he ain't got no weight nowhere near me, or strength. So, me sparring people like Johnny Garn, 70 kilo, much bigger people, much stronger, all around my weight, it will be a telling factor. I mean, talk to me about that. Sparring Johnny Garton, who is a welterweight. How exactly do you find coping with those guys? Mate, honestly, I love it. I'm the type of fighter. If someone comes at me, I can pick them off. And Johnny, Johnny has said I'm one of the hardest fighters ever had just because he couldn't touch me. So it is, it's given me massive confidence knowing that I'm sparring someone as big as him, as strong as him, and as, and as naughty of a fighter as he is because he's a proper, proper old school pro. So find, sparring someone like that is just giving me massive confidence. Known with what's on the line on Saturday night and how long you've waited for this opportunity, are you feeling any added pressures at all? No pressure, no pressure whatsoever. Obviously on the night I'll be a bit nervous, um, that's part and parcel of boxing, but right now I'm just excited. Um, I thought I'd be nervous seeing him, no, not at all. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger if I'm honest, but um, no, I'm excited. Well Lucian, before I do let you shoot off, final words with yourself, anything you'd like to say ahead of Saturday night? Listen, make sure you tune in because once I put in this performance, everyone's going to know who I am. Lucian Reed, thanks for speaking to myself and Boxing Social. Thank you, thank you, mate.